Our porch floor had an unsightly patch I wanted to spruce up with something new and more functional. Hey, I'm Melissa from Welcome to the Woods and you'll see here that I am just cutting a 3 quarter inch sheet of plywood because the 3 quarter inch is about how thick the floorboards of the uh, porch floor were. Now what I'm going to do is cut this large piece of plywood to size and I'm actually going to make the area where the patch is larger and then put this piece of plywood decorated like with a geometric design in place of the current patch. So in order to paint my geometric floor, I am going to cover it in a primer. The Kills Premium Primer is what I'm using because it's really heavy duty for something like floors and especially for an exterior floor I wanted something strong. So now you'll see I'm putting on uh, the paint color. I did do two coats of this. This is a lighter paint color that I'm going to be putting down first. To get the geometric um, design, I'm going to use frog tape, but it's really important you let your paint dry for a full 24 hours before using the frog tape. And the type you're going to want to buy is the yellow frog tape because it is delicate surface. It's made for freshly painted surfaces. I'm not placing these strips of paint at random. Um, you'll see I keep checking my phone. So here is a little shot of the design I'm going for. This is a rug that I just loved. I found it on Pinterest. And I had my Instagram audience actually vote on what design they liked. And this was the winner between two different geometric rugs. Come follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description on this video so that you can partake in polls in my stories and help me decide on my next projects. You might be wondering, where is her tape measure? Believe it or not, I did eyeball this design. One thing you might not know about painter's tape is that it needs to be sealed in order to prevent bleeding. So I am sealing it with the paint color, the paint color that's going to become the lines that I painted on the bottom. Um, this will allow any bleed through to be the correct color and match with the lines. And this works really, really well if you're going to have paint drying completely because usually you want to put down tape and then remove it when it's wet. But in this method, I had to let the paint completely dry. Here is the black paint I'm using. I also use this on our stairway makeover. It's a super durable interior exterior um, enamel paint and I, I just love it. It's also from Bear. So I'm putting down two coats of this and the I let them both fully dry before removing the tape. This part is so satisfying. I love watching the tape getting removed and I was really happy with how my paint trick worked. Um, because the lines were absolutely perfect. I had no bleed through issues whatsoever. So if you love that tip, you guys, share this video right now. I think a lot of people could utilize that tip, especially when they're doing geometric designs like this. When it was dry, I laid it down in place where the old patch was. Taking out the old patch, actually, it was kind of shocking what was underneath there. But that's a story for my next video when I show you how to redo the porch floor. I secured the painted geometric floor design down with screws into the floor joist and some adhesive caulk along the seams. That was it. This design gives the porch floor so much personality and is way better than the patch that was in disrepair before. Tell me what you think in the comments below. And thanks for watching. Welcome to the woods.